at all. Right, but... We can't get Fry out of here till tonight. Just when I thought Annie wasn't as crazy as I thought she was, this is insane. Look at what she's put Ryan through, what she's put her own daughter through. She's put Ryan through? You don't think Ryan has had any part in this? You think he's innocent? Ryan's pretty much driven Annie crazy. What are you talking about? You weren't there, Greenlee, when Ryan seduced her. I was, all right? Living a wild wind with Annie. He pushed her. Okay, he pushed her. He pushed her real hard, and she didn't even want to get involved. But he just kept on pushing, romancing the hell out of her. He told her, I'll be there for you forever and ever, and always love you. So she finally gives in. She finally gives him her heart, and he just tosses her away like some used beer bottle. If Annie had anything to do with this, well, then she's wrong for what she's done. But Ryan is just as guilty for what he's done to her. I couldn't have survived this without you. I, um... I feel the same way. Do you mean that? Don't you come on, pick up. Annie, is that you? Very much for coming by so quickly. Okay, I'll give you lay of the land. First of all, Spike is a two-year-old boy. He's upstairs playing. Uh, Miranda is the four-year-old girl, and she's taking a nap right now. She has a cold, so please keep an eye on her. Just let her sleep. And Ian is the one-year-old. Um, just to let you know, he seems to need his diapers changed frequently. Okay, and over there in the bassinet, that's the newborn. My daughter has actually put some milk aside for her next few feedings. We're on it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for coming. Our pleasure, miss. Oh, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. You are so, so welcome. And I want you just to know that they come with the highest recommendation possible from people I actually know. Oh, oh, mm. honey, you missed uh, some of Miranda's makeover. <laughs> okay, here you go. Ah, thank you. All right. Mm. So, the reason I actually came over here in the first place is because... Yeah, that's it. It's gone. <laughs> the reason I actually came over here in the first place is because I wanted to ask you to stand in for me at Fusion while I go in this press junket. But seeing all you've got going on here, I know that you are the one who needs some help. Mm. And you have to let Reese know that. Oh, Mother, it's okay. It's not as though she flaked out on me. I, I insisted that she go. Well, I, I just hope that she's not taking advantage of your good nature. I love her. She is everything I've ever wanted in a partner, and I know that she feels the same way about me. We have a beautiful daughter together. Miranda adores her. We're getting married. <laughs> she is the love of my life. I just want you to be happy. Well, good. Your wish is granted. Reese makes me very happy. What are you thinking? I was just thinking about how we got here, about what went wrong. You know, and I'm not just talking about Emma. I'm talking about with us, too. I ruined it. I mean, we were really happy, and I screwed the whole thing up. It wasn't just you. I've done a lot of things that I regret, too. Well, you did those things because you were trying to save our family. Because, because you love me. I still do love you. I know, and I turned my back on you. 
Because you still love Greenlee. What? What? What is it? Rain, please. Talk to me. Why are you calling Eddie so? To see if she'll answer. To see if Ryan's right. Maybe get her to slip up. Ryan's handling her. Ryan is emotionally involved. And if this is one of Annie's schemes, and Ryan slips up and lets on that he suspects her, then God knows what she's going to do and what it will mean for Emma. Yeah, well, it's a moot point. You're going to have to let him deal with it. She left her phone here. Wait a minute. She left her phone here. Maybe there's evidence on here that she's behind all of this, like people that she's called on her phone calls. That she's... Come on in. Hey. Hey. How you doing with the contractor? Oh, everything's going great. They're going to start tomorrow, and we are working on a time schedule, so all the subs are lined up and ready to go. Ideally, there will be no downtime waiting on any department. Good. <laughs> you know, um, wow, just looking at you now, you, you kind of remind me of someone. Who? A man that I love very much. A man you love? Wow, that is a loaded statement, and I'm going to need some clarification, please. Ah, uh, my father. Oh, that's... That's weird. I, I like more. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> well, do you know that my parents actually have the love story of the century? My mother is a concert violinist, and my father went to one of her concerts one night. She's first chair, playing Vivaldi. And he fell in love with her from Rhodey. I can't wait to meet him. Are they coming to the christening? No. Mm -mm. I don't talk to my parents anymore actually um they don't talk to me why hmm. why do you think when i told them that i was a lesbian it kind of destroyed the little world they'd made up in their mind for me and they shut me out and They basically don't talk to me anymore or acknowledge my existence. Why won't you let me look at Andy's well, call then? Sometimes you don't think before you act, okay? This may be a phone, but it's just like a computer. And like a computer, you press a few wrong buttons and you can erase everything. I need to download the phone's EEPROM to my laptop before you start messing around with any little numbers. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about Greenlee, aren't you? No. I'm thinking about us. I'm thinking about what we lost. That's all I ever think about. I know. I wish 